So this is going to be Degage, uh, a study in form and uh, method for this particular parry attack that uh, I'm still working through. So standard disengage on the thrust is you're here and then you turn it over, right? Or here, rotate it over here, right? Or, or up in here and drop it down. Those are different versions of uh, thrust with the disengage to a thrust. The dégagé, as I'm trying to remember, is taught to us by Duke Lorland uh, years ago. I believe to be a form of starting with a parry and then the disengagement happens <coughs> after you've taken the parry. So thrust is coming to my body and I just make the standard parry uh, and then I go under the sword disengage around it to the thrust, right? So here to there, right? So I theoretically, as I take the parry, I just thrust, right? But as I take the parry and thrust, they parry back, right? So, or could, and so therefore, as they push to parry the thrust aside, as they go to parry, I disengage low, come under, and as they're now caught off, caught in open space, have you missed the parry because of the disengagement, they, they die. So theoretically, standard disengage is I come in here and parry, come around and thrust. But this one is waiting, Degage waits for the parry to add a more dynamic nature to it. As I come forward, disengage low back to that, uh, that low clockwise tip circle to the thrust to the, to the kill. I think I can also parry and then as I start to thrust you can just control it but what you wouldn't need to control because they're over here that's what I'm thinking right now anyway that's uh, that's where I'm at